All right, and it is day six. We are at my second favorite park in the country, Knobles. We're gonna try to legitimately ride Phoenix and Twister 20 times a piece. Can't wait to get in there. We'll see you guys there. Here's Impulse over there. Not open today after uh, getting a refurb on the trains. All right, and first ride of the day on Knobles opening day is gonna be Twister, a phenomenal in-house wooden coaster. And there she is, guys and gals. First train of the season. was so good. They've done a great job equipping this in-house coaster in great condition. Those laterals are so good and even had some air time this year and a lot of retracking. So again, it's running super smooth, super fresh, but it's still very early in the day, so it's running super slow. We're going to head to Phoenix, which, you know, usually warms up a little faster than uh, Twister does. And we're going to head back over here and definitely get a few more rides later in the day. Again, it's opening day here, so we've got some new stations out here getting some shots of the flyers. The rear track and rework of flying turns. work on the existing lift as well all oh, that is fresh wood right there Those are the new trains right there. Not quite finished yet, but uh, they'll be on impulse this year. I believe they allow for a lower height restriction to ride. If I remember correctly, they're adding booster seats to them. It looks like they're adding an entire new facade to Phoenix as well. It looks like some type of retro neon vibe. It's gonna be so cool. Changes to the queues as well. It looks like they've extended the switchbacks. <laughs> 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 very well as well we got a middle seat they're not letting you pick your seats which i mean i'm okay with i guess as long as i can ride these two phenomenal woodies again it's early in the day so they're both still running pretty slow i'm gonna ride phoenix one more time and then probably give it a couple hours get these things at their full potential report back then We just got another front row and another back row ride later in the day. This thing is hauling. It's so good. It's so unique. You talk about uh, Hades 360's pre-track, but you don't talk about a lift hill dropping into another lift hill. It, and the laterals in this, lateral heaven. The thing is, they have three wooden coasters here, but it, it's like night, afternoon, day. They're all so different from each other. No all-day wristbands yet this year. Again, the whole COVID thing. But we are running through tickets and having an amazing day. This is my second favorite park in the country for a reason. Just the atmosphere, it's so charming. The rides are all so incredible. They complement each other so well. 
And we're on to see if Phoenix has warmed up at all. Twister certainly has, and it is definitely a warm day here. So back to back, back row rides, this thing is definitely heating up. From that turnaround all the way until you pull into that brake run, it's just thigh crushing ejector straight in those buzz bars. It's absolutely incredible. All right, so we've gotten seven rides on Phoenix, seven on Twister. Unfortunately, right now it's pay per ride. They don't have all day wristbands available for about two weeks. So uh, we're gonna get about three more rides on each of them. They're absolutely hauling there as well as ever. Knobles did a great job and took advantage of their time off during COVID. One, Impulse has new trains. Two, Flying Turns is getting an extreme makeover. Three, Phoenix is getting a makeover. And four, multiple flats have gotten either changed out or interchanged parts. Twister even had a bunch of retracking on it. I mean, they've taken the time to put TLC into each and every ride during this time off, taking advantage of it very well. This has been an amazing day and a huge rebound from Silver Dollar and Dollywood the last two days. Uh, we'll have day seven on the road. I have a media invite to Candemonium. We're gonna go do that. Until then, ride on.